Hey Type 3 community, I'm Matthias, your YouTube, and today we're going to guide you through a couple of quick tips for integrators and admins, so stay tuned. In our first tip, we're going to style parts of the Type 3 backend login. You might know that you can change the logo around and the colors, but we got something new for you, which is interesting from a legal standpoint. So let's take a look. If we log in to our Type 3 installation, we can head over to Admin Tools Settings right here, then go on to Extension Configuration, scroll down a bit, and you'll see all settings for the backend extension. And if we click this, what we got new now for the login screen is a little footnote that you can add. And this could be something like, um, this site has been built for our YouTube audience. And if we save this, and it'll say that it has successfully saved our changes, we can now log back out. And what we can now see is in the bottom right hand corner, you will see that legal notice, footnote, whatever. So if your legal department is being a pain, you can now add this onto the central login. Our second tip is for everybody who keeps playing around with backend user permissions over and over again. And you might find yourself switching back and forth between your administrator account and the respective user account. If we take a look at Type of 3's backend, what you basically do a lot, I guess, is heading over to the backend users module, finding the user you want to edit, and then using the switch to functionality. For those who, of you who don't know what this is, this will basically take over the identity of the user you're switching to, you, so you can basically see what that editor sees at that point in time. So if we click this, you can now see that I am now no longer Matthias here, up here in the right hand corner, but I am now the user test. And this is cool and all, so if we exit, we get back redirected into our Type 3 installation. So what you can now see in our top right hand corner here is that you can now switch to any of the recently switched users without going to the backend users module, finding the user and imagine you have like a thousand editors, which is not uncommon. Now you can switch back and forth between these users more easily, so helpful. And our last tip for today is for those who keep looking for field names in Type 3's backend. And um, we've had this covered in on one of our previous videos, which we're going to put up here. So you can click that later. Um, and this is showing the field names in backend forms. Um, so if you go to the configuration preset in the settings module, and then set the debug mode to active, which I already have, and you save this, you can now basically open up any form within Type 3, and I'll just go with a page here to make it easy. And if we open this up, you can now see that you have the field name right next to the title in red. This setting will apply to all administrator users if the backend setting debug has been enabled. These were three quick tips for you that should make your life with Type 3 easier. As usual, if you got comments and suggestions, leave them in the box below. We'll get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye.